action. Okay, hello Echo Lakers. Here is our new water pump, and it's quite a good one, replacing the old one that's been here since Christ broke bread. Um, easy to use, a uh, few steps that are different that we must do every time. Uh, first is to, before you start, check the oil. And that's one of the things that we tend to forget to do. But check the oil is right here. I hope I'm on the right side. And we have oil. It takes 1030 or 30 weight. And you can either fill it here or there's a, a, a spigot on the other side. Second thing to do is check the prime. This is really important because if we run this without the engine being primed, it will burn up the pump. Unscrew this, look, and by golly, there's water in there. Okay, if there is no water in here, you take the bucket from the well and you fill that up with water. Okay, it comes over the top. And just finger tight, finger tight. Next thing, gasoline. This pump takes premium, which we have, that is um, treated with fuel stabilizer. So here, well, we maybe put a better label on it eventually, premium with stabilizer for the pump. Okay, if you need to, this can go in a big boat. It would be fine if you have an emergency, but uh, fill it with premium probably down in Tahoe. Okay, um, this spigot is absolutely worthless, so I just take it off here and use the funnel. Oh, okay. okay. Looks, there is enough gas. Okay. So we want to close it up. One kind of neat thing about this is uh, if you do run it out of oil, it, there is a gizmo that shuts off the motor. Oh, perfect. Which is awesome. Okay, so the choke is here. The lines open means the choke is off. The lines closed means the choke is, clo is on. So now we give it full choke. And here's the throttle. We'll give it pretty much full throttle to start. And we give a pump and we're gonna see what happens. One, two, three, four, come on. Oh, there's another thing that's quite important. There's an on and off switch. <laughs> After you check the oil and the gas and the prime, <laughs> turn the switch on. It will generally start and run better. Also different than the old pump. Start it. Oh, so to turn it off, you just turn it off. Yes, you turn it oh, off here okay. with this. Perfect. No, no foot. Gizmo on the um, spark plug. Okay. okay, another thing to be aware of, and we found this, is the cool thing is now we've got to take it apart, we just unscrew these and this and that, and we can take the pump apart and take it up. No. Um, you may need a pipe wrench to loosen this, and this, and this, but quite easy. It is important that these fittings are all tight. Oh, uh, I had this before when we started up. It wasn't quite tight, it was leaking air, oh. and you lose the prime in the pump. So it went up to the top, listening in the tank, and it's going bloop, 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 bloop. Air, not a good thing. So it came back and eventually realized needed to tighten these guys. So if there's going on in the tank, come down and tighten these things up. Shouldn't have to, but that is an issue. And also, coolness, I thought, why not have a fire hose? That is this gizmo here. So we have a hose and a nozzle. 
we will actually make the hose, a longer hose, go almost all the way to the cabin so we have a hose uh, that can wash, do whatever, but also be in a case of fire. Um, and we'll show you how that works. Turn it on. Maybe about half choke. Right. 